When we're working with logarithms, sometimes we want to take a complex expression and break it apart, expand it out into a bunch of different logarithmic expressions. And sometimes we want to do the opposite. We want to take um, a logarithmic expression that has multiple parts and wrap it all up into one log. That's what we're doing with this problem. We have this pretty complicated looking sum of uh, logs here, and we want to put this all together in just one single logarithm. Just like when we're expanding, we're going to do that with these properties of logs. And the first thing I notice is we have a sum here. So there's this part, whoops, this part is added to this part. So we are going to turn this into a product. So the sum of two logs can be a product in a single log. There's a little bit of work we have to do before that, though, because we have this 7 hanging out here and this 1 half hanging out here. So we want to deal with those. We can use the logarithm of a power property to deal with that. What that property says is if you have a number hanging out here, you can move it out here to be a power of this number here. So in this case, this 7 could then be the power of this quantity 9z plus 1. So we'll take this 7 and move it here. And we'll take this 1 half and move it here. All right, now we can just take those two pieces and multiply them together. So this whole expression is going to be the log base C of this times this. So I'm just going to put all of that in parentheses, and then we'll have some parentheses inside there. So first we've got 9z plus 1, and that is to the seventh power. And that's multiplied by z plus 9 to the 1 half power. So there you go. That is a one single log that is the same as this uh, more complicated or more complex logarithmic expression.